you're about to hear something truly historic, the first ever sound directly recorded on the surface of Mars. In this video, all about Mars space, it's faint, but it's real. For generations, Mars was a silent world in our imagination. But now, for the first time, we can actually hear it. The ghostly breeze you're hearing was captured by NASA's Perseverance rover just 16 hours after landing in Jezero Crater. At that moment, the microphone was still attached to the rover's deck, so the sound was muffled, like listening with your hand over your ear. Now listen again. This time, the microphone is fully exposed, and we can clearly hear the whisper of Martian wind. Recording sound on Mars isn't a new idea. In fact, back in 1966, astronomer Carl Sagan wrote a letter to NASA urging them to include a microphone on a Mars mission. He said, and I quote, Even if only a few minutes of Martian sounds are recorded, public interest will be high and the scientific value real. NASA tried. A microphone was included on the Mars Polar Lander in 1999. Sadly, that mission ended in failure. The spacecraft crashed due to a communication error. Over the years, other missions like Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity also missed the chance to carry microphones, due to either budget constraints, technical issues, or caution. Then came Perseverance. Launched in 2020 and landing in 2021, it's the first rover to successfully carry working microphones to the Martian surface. Not just one, but two microphones, one on the body and another on the mast, built into the SuperCam instrument. These aren't high-tech space-only devices either. They're basically off-the-shelf mics, the kind anyone can buy online. Far, Perseverance has recorded nearly nine hours of audio from Mars. But capturing sound on Mars isn't easy. The Martian atmosphere is extremely thin, just about 6% as dense as Earth's, and made mostly of carbon dioxide. That means sound travels differently, quieter, slower, more muffled. In fact, engineers often worried the microphones had failed until they picked up the soft whisper of Martian wind. Sometimes it's the rover itself making the noise. On the 19th Martian day of its mission, Perseverance recorded its own movement. Each time a wheel hit a rock, it sent bangs and pings through the rover's frame. The sounds were surprisingly loud, even unsettling. If I heard these sounds while driving my car, I'd call a mechanic. But on Mars, this noise was totally expected. It's just a robotic explorer navigating alien terrain. A 26-minute long recording of this movement provided valuable insight. One mysterious scratching sound caught engineers' attention, possibly caused by electromagnetic interference or the way Martian soil interacts with the wheels. The SuperCam also records laser zaps, sharp popping sounds made when the laser hits Martian rocks and vaporizes bits into plasma. Each snap carries scientific data. Louder pops may mean a harder rock. Softer ones might reveal a porous or weathered surface. More than 28,000 laser shots have already been recorded and analyzed. In fact, scientists can even calculate the speed of sound on Mars based on how quickly the snap reaches the mic. It's audio-based chemistry, and that's revolutionary. But Perseverance has done even more. It carried a device called MOXIE, which successfully converted Mars's carbon dioxide into oxygen, enough to keep a small dog alive for 11 hours. That's the first time we've made breathable air on another planet. And then there's Ingenuity, the tiny helicopter, the first flying machine on another world. During its fourth flight, Perseverance was about 90 meters away, 
roughly the length of a football field, and recorded the faint hum of Ingenuity's rotor blades. For the first time ever, one spacecraft recorded another sound on a different planet. Then came another surprise. Scientists realized that Mars has two speeds of sound. High-pitched sounds, like laser zaps, travel faster. Low-pitched sounds, like the helicopter, travel slower. On Earth, all sound travels at the same speed through air. But Mars is different. So if a Martian orchestra played in the distance, you'd hear the violins before the drums. That's how alien the Martian atmosphere really is. To help us imagine it, NASA has simulated common Earth sounds as they'd be heard on Mars. Everything sounds thinner, quieter, and just different. And then, on the 215th Martian day, something amazing happened. Perseverance recorded its first dust devil, a swirling mini tornado of Martian dust. By combining the audio with camera and weather data, scientists learned that the dust devil was about 55 meters tall, moving at 22 meters per second. Over 400 dust grains struck the rover during its brief pass, and we heard it all. In just a short time, microphones on Mars have changed the way we explore other worlds. Sound is now joining sight and touch in our toolkit for planetary science. And this is just the beginning. Someday, we might listen to the acid rain on Venus or methane storms on Titan. We are at the dawn of a new era, a world where space is no longer silent. If you enjoyed this journey, consider supporting the channel by becoming a member or a Patreon subscriber. You'll get your name in future videos, early access to content, and even a curated set of 4K Mars wallpapers. Your support helps us keep making high quality informative videos for curious minds like yours. watching All About Mars Space. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe for more amazing facts about Mars and space. See you soon.